everyone, today I'm gonna take you guys along with me to Universal Studios Hollywood. So for today, I parked at the ET parking structure and just for reference, the daily parking fee for a general vehicle is $30 at the time of me posting this video. However, I do have a gold level annual pass which does cover the parking fees. Something to keep in mind is that after you exit the parking structure, you would have to walk through City Walk, which is the area shown here. Now, City Walk is so much fun in my opinion because there's so many options here, so many shops and also food places to choose from. I love how this place is outdoors and something that I really think is cool is that the logos on these shops are super exaggerated and I think that makes it super unique and also super fun to look at. I would say it takes me roughly 10 to 15 minutes to walk from the parking structure through city walk and then finally to the main entrance of the park. I really like how you get to walk on a red carpet on your way into the park. It really makes you feel like you are in Hollywood, which is really awesome. Okay, the first place I went to was Hogsmeade, which is aka my favorite area in the park. I was quite hungry at this time, so I paid a visit to the Three Broomsticks, which in my opinion is probably one of the best restaurants in Universal Studios Hollywood. I wanted their English breakfast, but when I got to the counter to order, I was told it was sold out, so I ended up getting the fish and chips instead. The food wasn't bad, it's just I think I was expecting a little too much. Anyways, combined with the high price point of $18.99, I don't think I'll be getting this item again. There are lots of better options that you can get at this restaurant. I wanted to try a beer from the pub located inside the Three Broomsticks, so I got the Hogshead Brew, which is an an exclusive beer which is created for the land. I took my beer to Hogwarts and it was honestly such a great moment. Anyways, I walked around for a little bit more and then headed over to the world famous studio tour starring Jimmy Fallon. All right, everyone, if you come to Universal Studios Hollywood, this is the ride that you guys must go on because this is exclusive only to the Hollywood location. Now what's really cool about this ride is that you get to sit in these really cool shuttles which take you around the back lot area essentially and you basically will get to explore a real life working movie studio where actual TV shows and movies were filmed here or currently are being filmed here. So it's just super cool to see all of these sets which you have probably seen in famous movies or TV shows. There's even a tour guide who is there with you on the tram and they will provide you with commentary and informative information regarding the history of the sets that you are passing by. One of my favorite things about this studio tour is that you can see special effects happen right before your eyes. Here is an example. That is still to this day one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I've always been a fan of special effects in movies. I think they're just so awesome and truly what makes movies magical. And you know, being able to see these special effects up close and also just having the opportunity to see props used in movies as well as visit sets that were created for these movies is such a unique experience that I don't think you can get anywhere else. Also, let me just remind you guys that this tour is included within your park admission ticket, so please come do this tour, it's super worth it. Alright, so after I got off the tour, I decided to walk around a little bit and head down to the lower lot area. The weather that day was super perfect, it was clear skies, the sun was out, and it was just really, really pretty overall. So this is the view I took of Los Angeles, and this was after the first flight of escalators on my way down to the lower lot. So my original plan was to go ride the Bowser challenge in Super Nintendo World, but then I saw the line from the escalator and it looked like there was a lot of people. So I ended up just heading back up to the upper lot and I decided to go explore the park a little bit more. 
So next, I headed over to the Despicable Me Minion Mayhem ride. Now, I have passed by this ride countless times, but every time I pass by, it's like a wait time of 50 minutes. So I never really got a chance to ride it. But then this time I went, it was like 20 minutes. So I was like, you know what? Let's go do it. So I went inside and oh my gosh, look at this queue. It's so adorable and I just love minions in general. I think they're super cute and funny. So anyways, I was super happy just staying in line because I was like watching all of these videos and this is a room that you get to queue in. Look at how cute it is. I think it's supposed to be Gru's house. Anyways, I just love the props and everything. It's super adorable. I only show the queuing area here, but you actually go into a room where the ride is at later on and it's super fun. Look who I found after I exited the ride. This is now my favorite thing in this land. The actual name of this land is called Super Silly Fun Land from the Despicable Me movie. And if you're hungry, you can visit the Minion Cafe where they serve a bunch of different food here. And I really love the decoration inside this area. It's super fun. And look at how adorable these popcorn buckets are. They're so cute. Next, I headed back down to the lower lot for the second time of the day. And this time I wanted to get something to eat because it was close to dinner time. And I wanted to try something at the Jurassic Cafe located inside the Jurassic World area because I've never been inside so I wanted to see what they offered and looks like they were offering Latin America inspired cuisine which is something that I really like so I decided to check it out for myself this place is a cafeteria style quick service restaurant and let me tell you they have a lot of food options available and they all look really really good I was debating which entree item to get and I ended up going with the mojo pork and it looked pretty good and they give me a pretty big portion too and I have to say for the price I think it's really worth it because you get a lot of food for the price you pay for. I also like how you can see a lot of dinosaurs on the walls around here. It's super awesome. Here is the mojo pork entree that I got, super good, highly recommend. After eating, I decided to walk around a little bit and I stopped by the Jurassic Park ride. I didn't go ride it because I'm afraid of heights, but as you can see here, this is the ride. It looks really fun. I was fortunate enough to catch a very beautiful view on my way up the escalators to the upper lot. It was getting a little darker in the day so you can see the lights starting to light up at a lot of these attractions and it's just really nice and beautiful to see. I decided to make a quick stop at Hogwarts before I headed out and so every time I visit, this place just takes my breath away because it's so beautiful and look at that sunset everybody. How awesome is that? Like this is so beautiful. Now I was not expecting to witness a duel between the Death Eaters and the guests. Seriously, huge props to the guy in the green shirt. He looks like he knows what he was doing. I was in the park for maybe like 5 or 6 hours, so not a long period of time. However, I think I was able to see, eat, and explore a lot of different things today. So it was a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini vlog and thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, 